All right, everybody, happy Thursday. I am back in Omaha, up here at Omaha Rug Facility. Shot the, uh, the owner, Cam Maysville, uh, having me out to do another class uh, with him. Uh, we are doing tomorrow a uh, hardwood maintenance class uh, presented by me, and then Saturday rug cleaning class presented by Cam and Mr. Paul. So, guys, just kind of show you uh, to show you around. Any of you guys who have not seen Cam shop, I uh, just had a few uh, of our students just pop up going back to their rooms. We're all going to meet out tonight at Pizza West in uh, La Vista, Omaha. Have just a, you know a good gathering. There's the man right there, the man with the plan. There's What's Cam. All right, there's Cam. Uh, thanks, shout out to Cam again. Without him, uh, this opportunity for me uh, would not have happened. So let me just show you guys around. Again, so uh, Cam um, is a rug cleaning restoration facility. As you can see, guys, some of his guys right there. And um, that's his daughter. If you was this guy, that's Mr. Paul. You guys just missed Mr. Paul. Uh, so, guys, just kind of show you around this facility. This is what they do. This is what they specialize in. And one thing about the rugs and the hardwood floors, they kind of go hand in hand. So, Cam came up with this great idea of doing a class to give those who want the um, knowledge and information. Um, because, again, you know, people get their rugs clean and picked up. These guys actually pick up. I mean, guys, I can't even throw a number out there. You're probably looking at probably, whoo, Paul, just guesstimate. How much you think all those rugs cost right there? Just those right there. Oh, uh, I'd have to dig through them, but like you know, these are low cost, hand tufted. Uh huh. But then you got uh, machine made, and you know, depending on the quality of that, that might, that may be several thousand dollars, two, three for that. And then you got handmade ones, and they may be, you know, five thousand, uh, ten thousand. But then another handmade might be two, three hundred bucks. Okay. Like, like this one here. So, so you really have to look at each one and do an appraisal. Hate to tell you, folks, don't listen to the old man. He's got cuckoo. <laughs> <laughs> so we probably I got. I, I would say about fifty grand in the rugs. And, and this here is just you know a low cost piece. Uh huh. But uh, you never know. I mean, some of these things go for outrageous money. And once you look at that, you would think would be worth nothing, still might be five, ten, fifteen thousand dollars. Wow. Like some hand tufted of rugs. Yes. And I got one I just put out for class that is a Paul Fasoski. And the reason I pulled that it sounds for expensive. class is because he's considered an artist, even though really uh, it's not that expensive a piece to make, but because he's an artist, mm. then it, he commands a very high price. So you really have to look and looking from the distance rolled up, you can't tell. You can't tell. Them. You got to inspect them. Yeah, and what was that name again? Paul Vasaski. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Matter of fact, we just had a uh, beautiful Farrahan rug in here from the Jocelyn Museum. Okay. Megan did uh, the repair on the side cords. The friend restored it, and you know it probably now you know I guess fifty fifty five thousand. Wow! Somewhere just for that there. one rug. We did a class in Florida, and we had a rug there, and the owner of it had it appraised two hundred and seventy five thousand dollars yeah. for a Farrahan and was concerned about uh you know that being out of his home was something happened to it and so they had it insured for 30 <laughs> days the cleaner did what? so that if it got uh stolen or the building burnt down or something that he would have coverage and he goes okay great but because he knew it was an antique worth two hundred seventy-five thousand. Two hundred and seventy-five thousand dollars. That was wow. one rug. One rug. One rug. Two hundred seventy-five thousand dollars. And this is why, guys, you just by listening to this, this is why it's so important to get educated when you want to kind of deal with these type of uh, services. Because you know, again, someone who was a carpet cleaner for most of his life, I cannot tell you how many times I work for a company. We go in, we clean the rug, it start bleeding, it start uh, shrinking, and next thing you know, we have turned a hundred dollars cleaning into a you know thousands of dollars of repair or sometimes replace so anyway guys I'm just over here setting up my area also so that's mr. Paul also shout out to mr. Paul Nelson he called me today he's gonna be out here tomorrow as well to be a guest speaker also John Brun who's very good at marketing he's also gonna be here um, he'll be here he'll be here today uh, be here tomorrow speaking about marketing and branding and also two 
too. Shout out to my guy, Morgan Overstreet. He sent us these postcards just for people in the class. Um, so everybody in the class will get this postcard uh, where they can get some discounts on some equipment like the world famous culture, uh, that culture BR40 that I made very famous. Uh, so anyway, guys, this is my setup right here, 175. Uh, we also got an Orbot vibe that Cam has. So I'm also, I actually got more stuff sent out here. Just gonna be going over the different pads, the different products, um, and then also just doing some demonstration of cleaning, uh, screening, recoding, and I'm using these boards right here. And I'm also having a board made at my shop because I'm gonna start doing Zoom, um, doing Zoom classes. Um, because a lot of people say, well, Courtney, I can't make the class. Uh, can you start doing Zoom classes? So I'm gonna uh, hopefully have that, uh, my first Zoom class in the next, I'm gonna say two to four weeks. So anyway, guys, just, just give you a, a walk around. Um, this cam shop right here. All right, so I am in Omaha, Nebraska. All right, Omaha, Nebraska. Great, great, uh, easy flight, um, about a two, two hour flight from uh, Hartsville, Atlanta. And um, so we're gonna, um, well, I'm gonna go back to my room in about an hour, meet up with John Brown. We're staying at the same room with some other students. Uh, I think this class right here, we got about 24 students uh, that are coming out with us tomorrow. And we're just gonna have fun, guys. So I um, just wanna introduce you, show you what we're doing, what we're gonna be doing tomorrow. And then Cam will be doing his class Saturday. And like I said, we're going to meet up tonight at a uh, pizza place, have some pizza, some uh, fellowship, networking. And again, guys, um, just helping each other take our businesses to the next level. And that way we can take our lives to the next level. That's what it's all about. All right, guys. Just got some stuff right here. We're going to be going over different pads, um, different cleaning pads, different uh, abrasion pads, scrubbing pads. The, uh, why and um, when you should use these pads, things like that, some of the chemistry, some of the finishes. So yeah, and then also too, uh, September, September 6th through the 8th, I will be in Vegas. Uh, my wife will be with me as well. We're gonna be in Vegas at the Experience. Um, shout out to Sean Bishion and also the IICRC committee having me out there. They're also gonna have some boards uh, out there doing some demonstrations. And also shout out to my man, Austin Mitchell from Proco. He is actually tapping into the cleaning and restoration parts of the industry where I come from so he can start um, um, presenting his products. Everybody know I use his products, Proco. So he's actually going to have his own booth there at the experience right across from me and uh sean where we're going to have our booth and uh get to hang out with austin been talking to austin for almost three years shout out to luciano and also tom those guys are up in pennsylvania those guys are the ones that introduced me to proco about three years ago and and guys i have introduce people to uh to, to, to uh, austin actually my website graphic designer kim she actually does a lot of work for austin so so that's what it's about guys the, making that network connecting people and, and again man we're all just just trying not trying we are growing and expanding and just helping each other out uh where we fit in all right all right guys enjoy the rest of your day just finish doing my little setup and I'll uh, get ready for tomorrow showtime. See you in the next one.